Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization VI in our The Elder King series. So, Alexander and who else have just... Oh, yeah. Cleopatra. That lady have just declared war on me for no reason whatsoever. One of the first things I want to do this episode is right before I started recording, I took a quick look. I actually, to tell you the truth, when I'm, when I'm doing a Let's Play, I do very little off-camera stuff. Even if I just want to figure something out or, you know, just, you know you know, maybe study options. I try, I like to do that actually while I'm recording so I can vocalize my thought process or at least try to vocalize my thought process. But in this case, I just took a quick look at maybe, you know, possible solutions for keeping Alexander at bay while maybe we try and focus a little bit more on taking uh, some of Egypt's territory because we can actually go down through this territory now. We, it would take a lot of effort because... You know, there's a lot of hilly terrain, and it's it's not the best attack strategy. But uh, we could also move through Auckland if we are still suzerain of them. Let's take a quick look. We are not. Qin Shi Huang is suzerain of Auckland. But we're about to earn some more envoys, and we might earn a lot. So there's a possibility we could take back Auckland and Seoul. All we need to take back is Auckland, and we can move through. And we can finally do some damage against um, Cleopatra. Again, she has some uh, fortifications in some very good places. So... Attacking her is not going to be easy, but I just want to make sure that I'll be able to defend against her nonsense. But the first thing I want to do is go ahead and buy a submarine in Ray. We're going to have this unit here just to kind of help protect the coastline from any shenanigans, and this will also help that submarine get a lot of experience very quickly. Hopefully we're a little bit more advanced than Alexander is. I'm not sure if we are or not. Let's have a quick look. Um, it looks like tech-wise we are ahead of Alexander, and then culture-wise... We should be ahead of Alexander. No, he's actually keeping up with us, at least as far as the game's meter is concerned. So we'll have to see how that goes. But Tushba needs a production project. Ooh. Ooh. Broadway in Tushba. That probably needs to happen. Then again, the two randomly chosen free civics when completed. That also is handy. The Bolshoi Theater in 20 turns. Flat land adjacent to a theater square district, so it could be built there. Um, God, both of those are so good. This is going to help us accelerate towards a culture victory faster. But so will this. And then the free civics. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? We, we've been getting lucky with our wonders. We're going to be... We're on pace for a triumphant culture victory regardless so why not go for the the lesser one to first and then maybe see if we can go for broadway after the fact or in another city meanwhile we've still got this scout hanging out here let's go ahead and have a look around uh just trying to scout out um gilgamesh's territory while we are in his area i'm going to take this ironclad and send them all the way back up there also do i still have a caravel out somewhere yes i do you need to come back and get your upgrade sir so we're going to send that Carabao back for an upgrade just so that they can defend against any shenanigans again from Alexander. That's kind of the idea right now. We're 20 turns away from a spaceport in Pasargadai, 19 turns away from a stadium in Susa, 44 turns from the Sydney Opera House. Now it looks like uh, Macedon does actually have this frigate fleet uh, nearby, but we discovered that last episode. So, Okay, let's now go over here and see what we can do with Hagmatana to defend against this sudden onslaught. I'm going to eliminate their army, the stronger unit of the two they have near this city. So Egypt is not as advanced as I am, so they're going to pay the price for declaring war on me. And what I'm going to do is, similar to what I did last time, we're going to let the um, the penalties pile up on them as much as we can. All right, so she's got an ironclad off our coast. It's going to do a little bit of damage. It's going to try to do a little bit of damage, but it's not going to... I'd be surprised if... Yeah, didn't even see the meters go down. Right, so they've got another couple of units nearby, but they're not going to have an easy time against me. We're also, again, about to earn more envoys. We might earn them this turn. Is No. Yes, yes, we will, actually. We're about to earn them. So, looks like two more, and then any bonuses we have that might give us additional envoys. Because lately, I think we've been getting more than two. All right, claim great person. Awesome. So now we have access to a great musician. So this is Franz Liszt. And also, do we have the option to purchase any others? Uh, not just yet, but we're doing well with all the great people. So we're on tr we're on track to just dominate in this area. Let's go ahead and recruit that great musician. Generate some great works of art. Now, I could build Broadway here, but that's not the most advantageous purchase. 
Hmm. I'm actually going to go for the research lab just to make sure that we stay on top of our research game. We're doing great in culture, but we just need to make sure, again, like I said at the beginning of the game, that we're doing fine. So it turns out we only, in fact, um... We'll get two more envoys, but that's enough to reclaim suzerain status of both Seoul and Auckland. And again, Auckland's suzerain bonus will give Tarsus additional production. So I almost, to tell you the truth, I, I kind of want to like pour both of these envoys into Auckland. That's the most tempting thing, frankly. But let's go ahead and do that. And then it only shaved one turn off the Sydney Opera House, unfortunately. And we're already on production focus there. So, all right. So here's our great musician. You come up here and improve, or not improve, but generate a great work. Sweet. The Hungarian Rhapsody number one. And then, <laughs> yeah, we've got a banana tile there that I haven't improved yet. At some point, I probably need to do that. Someone brought that up in a comment and I was like, oh yeah, should probably do that at some point. All right, so we're going to have this submarine hanging out mostly near the coastline. I'm hoping to level it up to where we can get a little bit more visibility. All right, field cannon looks like they have moved this unit up north a little bit. We can't purchase any units, I don't think. Oh, we, we can. We can purchase a field unit here in Boktree. Let's go ahead and do that so that any units they have up there, we can continue to pelt them as they go by. And yeah, we're going to get some additional production for Tarsus because we need it. Sweet. Now Sydney Opera House is only 39 turns away. No complaints there. And the field cannon is just going to go on alert status for now. Now, what are you doing? Yeah, you're just scouting. So why don't I send you back this direction? I kind of want to see what's going on up there, but there's there's really not enough. It's it's more fruitful to explore down in this direction near Isin. And we don't have open borders with Gorga, so we might not be able to see very far, but I would like to try to see what I can spot down there. Okay, meanwhile, it looks like a Macedonian frigate might be about to meet our wrath. We do have open borders with Rome at the moment, which is going to be quite handy. I'm not honestly expecting Alexander to... Alexander, excuse me, to... Did I attack with them this turn? I think I forgot. Quill has raged against this since the beginning of Civilization VI's tenure as a release game. The fact that there's not a notification for ranged strikes the way there was in Civ V, so you 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 forget, like like you saw there. You, you forget... And I'm not, I don't have as much of an issue with it. I just need to remember to look around. But when you're playing a, a game with a lot of moving pieces, especially when you're commentating, it's understandable that um, that players, either let's players or not, uh, would would rail against that. And I, I totally empathize because that, that does, that is something that would be helpful. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and do some damage to some of these units. Let's give uh, Alexander some war weariness to think about. <laughs> We're still building this encampment as well. The encampment will help with our war effort when it's done, including potentially an invasion effort. We'll see. Okay, it looks like uh, there is a unit nearby that we can fire on with our submarine. And they have pillaged our fish resource there, so that's unfortunate. We're going to have to rebuild that. But this is why we put the submarine in the water. All right, Ray now has room for a new production project. I don't really need a builder at this point. We're doing pretty well. A zoo would be best for entertainment reasons. Let's go ahead and do that so that that's in place. And then, yeah, we need to get you up to another. That would be done in one turn. That would be done in one. Yeah, just go on up there. And we'll have you do another concert next turn. All right, looks like this unit is maybe going to hang out there so they avoid dying, which is smart on their part. Well played. Let's go ahead and move down this direction as planned with the scout. Meanwhile, pay a visit to this Macedonian frigate. How's that war weariness taste, Alexander? Is it yummy? Is it good? <laughs> Again, I'm, uh, he might he might have a few units on my coast to to give me a little bit of trouble, but overall, I'm not I'm not concerned. And again, this is just going to give this submarine combat experience. So bring it on, I say. I'm not going to focus too much on building a ton of... Are you, are, are you living in the same world that I'm living in, Gorgo? I'm just curious, because I'm getting attacked from two different fronts and totally demolishing them at the moment. They, I mean, granted, they haven't really thrown up much of an assault, but... Um, I'm defending my honor just fine. Thank you very much.
Okay, it looks like they're trying to attack Vilnius, which is a stupid decision, because Vilnius has a field cannon core to help defend their cities. All right, yeah, this unit's not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and move this field cannon down to where it might be more able to attack. Um, just a little bit at a time. I'll keep you there, because I want to move you up there. We're just going to kind of pinch that frigate away from that coastline. All right, this submarine is to finish off that. Uh... Thankfully, they did not do any more damage to me. And there's still a great general hanging out, but I can eliminate that unit as well. I might actually let that unit live, though. They didn't even see my submarine, which is the best part. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the soldiers that are standing on my farm. And hopefully they don't get the bright idea to pillage it next turn, but... I'd rather them not be threatening that constantly. Gordian. We could do a harbor district here. That would be helpful. You know, another holy site wouldn't be the worst. We haven't built one of those in a while, and just to make sure we continue to be able to take advantage of faith purchases as much as possible. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just really pile on there. All right, Tushpa is building a wonder, so we need as much production as we can get. Looks like you were previously trading with Tarsus, and that is still going to be the best option for you, so you just resume that route. We are 16 turns away from the Bolshoi Theater and 30 turns away from the Sydney Opera House. Meanwhile, we are 16 turns away from this um, spaceport being built. So actually, we've got some pretty long build times going on right now. This sewer is going to be done in Zranka soon, so they're going to have their housing problem finally go away, I think. Yep. The Dance in the Village Inn. Excellent. So we have a couple more great works. Our culture points have actually gone down, oddly enough. Not sure what's accounting for that. Did we lose suzerain status over anything? No, we're still suzerain over Vilnius. Interesting. Alright, now this unit, what I could do is bring them down to help. Yeah, we're going to do this. Alright, we're going to bring this unit down into this area here to see if we can troll Alexander from this coastline. Because so far, I don't know that he really has units that are capable of standing up to what I've got. So, Alright, here's another ironclad for the same purpose. So now we have a bit of a navy in this area to help defend against anything he might decide to throw my way. That great general is still still nearby, so we're going to have to take him out with that submarine. Not a problem there. Alright, so they did not pillage that tile. Instead, they ran away. We might still be able to fire on them. We should, in fact, still be able to fire on them from there, because they're just two tiles away. So we can eliminate that musketman and then deal with that one. Meanwhile, we're still 14 turns away from... Why is a woman to be treated nice. differently? Woman's suffrage will succeed. Despite this miserable guerrilla opposition. Okay, so now we have access to democracy. Right now, let's go ahead and... This is going to change our ability. We won't be able to buy land combat units with faith anymore, which makes me sad. But... Theocracy's legacy bonus is... Hang on, if we, if we look at our current legacy bonuses... See, we have a 11% discount on faith purchases from how long we've been at Theocracy, and we have a 22% experience bonus for combat units from Oligarchy. These are the bonuses we're still getting from the governments we held in the past. So, right now we have two base military slots, two base economic slots, a, dip uh, a diplomatic policy, and a wildcard policy. And when you actually look at our slots, we actually have two extra here, so we have an extra, an extra, and an extra. The only place where we don't have an extra is the economic policy slot. So let's look back. So democracy, we would actually have two. So we'd have the same number of military policy slots that we have now. We wouldn't actually lose one. We would, but we would be able to maintain our current policies. We would gain an economic policy slot. We would gain a diplomatic policy slot and gain yeah this is just insanely the best one we talked about this previously but now that we're about to make the decision i just want to show you and this of course patronage of great people costs 50 percent less gold not faith but gold so let's go ahead and confirm this switch and now we're going to be able to institute a bunch of new policies and we're going to have to take a second to actually think about what they're all going to be 
All right, so it let me keep the policies that I had previously, which is good. Diplomatic policies. I feel like there was one that I was very, very interested in. Your trade routes to an ally city provide plus two food and plus two production for both cities. Oh, hey! So there is a way to get mutual benefits for trade routes in Civ 6. Somehow I've not managed to notice that before. Please state. Nice. Enemy spies level reduced by two in, all your, in your lands. However, all cities suffer minus one amenity. Don't want that. Machiavellianism sounds like a good thing to do right now, just in terms of spying and making sure that we maintain an influence there. Plus two science, culture, faith, and gold from each city-state you're suzerain of. That's nice, but it's actually not that big of a bonus in the long run. Let's go ahead and go with Machiavellianism for now, but we're going to keep an eye on that because there are other options that we can use there that'll be quite good. And now we have an open slot for an economic policy, and it looks like heritage tourism is what we want to go with. We talked about this before. I think that's going to be the best one. New Deal is pretty good as well, but that does reduce our gold income. Right now our gold income looks like it's crap, but it's going to get better shortly. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for Heritage Tourism. And then we have the option of another policy, which can be any of these policies that we want, including these. We haven't used these yet, but frankly, I don't feel the need for them given how well our Wonder Game has been shaping up. These are kind of good for catch-up play. When you know you're behind, you need a lot of great person points in a particular category. I don't really feel the need for them as much right now. Now we could go for a new military policy. We could accumulate less war wariness than usual, which could be good considering we're about to do a lot of fighting. We could get production towards modern and atomic air units. We can get a reduction to our combat strength, uh, reduction, a reduction to the reduction <laughs> from being injured. National identity. I believe we looked at that one earlier, either in this series or another series that I was playing recently. Wars of religion, which might not be that useful right now because I'm pretty sure Egypt follows Zoroastrianism pretty closely. I kind of want to do another economic policy, being totally honest with you, because... I feel like right now we have press gangs. That's an extra extra production towards naval units. Military academies and seaports generate plus one science. I do like national identity. It just gives us a little bit of extra strength even when we're hurt. Let's go ahead and do that, because we are going to be doing some fighting, and that might be handy to have. It'll help our units maintain an edge in combat. And now it's going to recalculate some things since we just instituted a bunch of new policies. It's going to recalculate our gold income. We're back up to positive 57. And now let's go ahead and use Hagmatana to fire on that unit, kill them off. Give Egypt a little bit more war wariness to think about. You could have just pillaged that tile. You realize that, right? You would have healed up. Then you would have been fine. All right, so now we have to choose a new civic since we've researched our new government type. We don't really need to go with anything else here. Um, nuclear program is tempting. It's going to be four turns, and we get access to this policy. Spies who steal a tech boost without being detected gain an extra boost. Or we can go for Cold War, which gives us access to much, much better spying abilities. So let's go ahead and do that. We need nuclear fission in order to reach the next level of that. Also, we're one turn away from combined arms, so we will soon be able to know where our uranium is in our territory. All right, so this ironclad, I'm going to have kind of just patrol down the coastline a little bit and see what they spot. Looks like nothing so far. I can eliminate that great general very, very quickly, or that great admiral, rather. And looks like I'm not... Oh, wow. Oh, there's a river. Okay, that's why. We weren't able to go that far there, unfortunately. That was actually a bit of a lengthy order for, for a move order there. Shouldn't have done that. All right, let's go ahead and gain sources here. And you need to... Let's go ahead and do a siphon funds mission. Again, we just need you to succeed at a mission. We need you to level up. I'm not as worried about going for specific missions. What I want right now is more powerful spies until we can implement that Cold War policy in 11 turns. Should be able to do it next episode, I imagine. Greece has declared their friendship with Egypt. Egypt has declared their friendship with Greece. China has switched governments to democracy. Ooh, so China actually is keeping up, keeping up with us culturally. Better to Rome has built a hangar in Ravenna. Than live for nothing. All right, so now we have access to destroyers, aircraft carriers, and most importantly, it looks like three different uranium, one of which is already mined. Excellent. So where are they? 
Okay, so under our university, that's the one that's already being exploited. There's some there near Bok Tree that we need to take advantage of, and one right next to Ray in an unimproved tile. Good news. So what was it? Nuclear fission we needed to research? We are not able to research that just yet to get the boost in that other civic that we're working on. So tell you what, let's just go for plastic so we get the food bonus for fishing boats, because right now uh, Ray could benefit from it. We will probably need to... Yeah, I tell you what, let's go ahead and buy a builder because I want to improve that uranium and I want to repair that fishing uh, boat as soon as possible. All right, so Alexander decided to move away from my other units, which is just going to allow me to kill his ship. This way. Took the baits. Excellent. I'm going to move these field cannons back into place. That worked rather perfectly, if I do say so myself. Yeah, we're just going to have these units patrolling. It's a spot for additional Alexandrian invaders. Macedonian invaders, I should say. It is turn 350. Soon to be turn 351. Sikhism is spreading in Auckland. That is not acceptable. So Rome has some... Uh, has some apostles in the area, and they are removing Zoroastrianism in certain cities. It generally has a hold on this continent, but uh, they are, they're trying to do what they can. Okay, looks like... Um... <laughs> okay, so they have some units off the coast. All right, submarines now promotable. Okay, there's a couple of units trying to sail in, which is great. Let's go ahead and position our naval unit there to protect the submarine from being spotted. This builder needs to improve that uranium right away. Okay, so now we have two uranium. Excellent. And then that field cannon can just go back to resting. You need to continue scouting out what's down here. Oh, it looks like there's some uranium in Gilgamesh's territory. I'm actually going to make a little bit of an effort to go out this way with this ironclad just to uncover a little bit more of what's going on out here. There are, there are a lot of shipwrecks off of this coast. Kind of makes you feel like there might have been a lot of naval warfare early on in the game. I don't know if the game determines shipwrecks. Oh, we're about to be done with that sewer. Nice. I don't know if the game determines shipwrecks in the same way that it determines the position of ancient ruins. Ancient ruins are generally put on um, the sites of battles and such. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Well, if you can't abide anyone who sets out ahead of your own explorers, then do a better job exploring. We're probably about to launch a satellite before long, so you keep bitching, dude. All right, so we can totally annihilate a couple of their units here. Let's go ahead and use our submarine, which actually that submarine needed to be promoted that turn, but it's okay. So far, any troops that he has landed on my shores have uh, generally not done well. All right, so as predicted, they no longer have any kind of housing problem. Hmm, they do still have an amenities problem. I could build Broadway here. It actually wouldn't take that long, all things considered. We could also build Oxford University here. It'd be done in 25 turns. It would replace a production tile, though. I'm not a fan of building it there. And Broadway would go... Yeah, that would also replace a production tile. I'd rather just... I'd rather this, this city just continue to be a production powerhouse, really. So let's go for a builder here and work on improving some other stuff nearby. All right. You need to come down... Well, you're not going to go anywhere just yet, but I want you in Ray. And as soon as the area is a little bit safer, you need to repair that. Please and thank you. Yeah, let's go ahead and just use this guy to do a little bit of scouting here. All right. What have we here? Oh no. Our, oh man. Our production center in where? And someone just built a wonder. Wow, okay, so that was not a good turn. So it looks like Rome wants an alliance, uh, and they want a research agreement on satellites. I'm not going to open my... Well, I can open my borders to Rome, I guess. And they want uranium. I'm not going to give you uranium. You know what? No. Just no. 
I don't want to be that good of a buddy. All right, some Kinshi Huang has built Broadway. So somehow China has managed to catch up to us in the Wonder Game. Obviously, they have the ability to build some pretty impressive wonders. So I'm glad we were going for Bolshoi Theater because they probably would have beaten us to Broadway while we were building it. And now we just got another reason to invade China in the late game because I'm kind of pissed they got that wonder. China gets those bonuses. So let's see what just happened. Suzerain status lost. We're no longer Suzerain of Seoul. We can purchase an apostle. That quarry has been pillaged. Big surprise. So we're going to need to repair that pretty soon. All right, so it looks like Pasargadai, they attempted to um, sabotage there as well, but they had two spies doing it in one turn. So I guess maybe he was killed when he did it. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. We still need to promote that submarine too. I keep forgetting. All right, let's eliminate that. Uh... Oh, didn't actually die. Wow, all right. Catapult army. I'm going to go ahead and put this builder in the water. It's a little bit risky because there might be some units still in the fog of war, but all right, we need more production for you. Actually, you know what? The Sargadai needs, needs all the production it can get now, and there's some Egyptian units moving up through Seoul. How did this happen? Let's get you there. So they actually are coming back up through the old war route, and we're going to need to mobilize some of our land units. Where do we even have our land units at this point? We've got a ranger there, field cannon there. We've got our level 3 infantry up here. So let's go ahead and bring them down to Pasargadai. It's going to take four turns. The city should be able to defend itself just fine. They're going to move up through Auckland. Well, how are you doing this? I guess just because you're at war with us. Is China suzerain of Seoul? Or Egypt? No. It's China's the suzerain of it, so I don't know how that happened. I don't know how they got their infantry unit there. I don't have an explanation for that. Maybe they moved along the road and just got on the other side of my troops. Alright, since we're at war with Egypt, we can totally kind of skip through their territory like so which is handy for our scout. So thanks for that, Egypt. You're actually making my job a little bit easier right now. Now, remember, I can't purchase land combat units with faith anymore. So, hmm. 25 turns away from the Sydney Opera House, 11 turns away from the Bolshoi Theater, 8 turns away from that stadium, and 14 turns away from the spaceport in Pasargadai, but we badly, we might actually need to change production projects. Yeah, let's go ahead and repair, because it's only going to take one turn. Thank God the production projects actually are not taking forever to repair this time. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder why it's not taking any time. I Just the, sh just the sheer production bonuses from other sources? I don't know. We're going to repair those in the coming turns, and uh, then go back to building the spaceport. But for now, I'm actually going to cut this episode here, and then the next one we're going to keep fighting these guys off. As soon as we have a few more, as soon as we have the spaceport finished and some of these major production projects finished that are going to help the Empire's economy stay stable at home, I'm going to switch toward building some military units, and we're going, we're going to start pushing back against Egypt first, as soon as we are sure that Alexander's not going to be able to launch anything from here. So far, his assault has been pretty anemic. And then, uh, looks like, ooh, Egypt's got a submarine off of our coast, a submarine armada, no less. So we're going to need to be careful with that, because that thing is capable of doing damage, particularly when there is a great admiral nearby. So they still have some, some skin in the game, but so far they haven't been able to do too much aside from harass me. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.